Dr. Clarence Baycoat recently received the Golden Medallion Award, the highest given by the State Committee on the Life and History of Black Georgians. It is said any American who hasn't heard of the accomplishments of Dr. Clarence Baycoat hasn't heard the whole story of the education of black people in America. A teacher activist and one of the unsung academic heroes of our time. He's a man who understands the historical and continuing present connection between what has happened and what is likely to happen. And politics is very much tied up in those two views, what has happened and what is likely to happen. Maynard Jackson was one of Dr. Clarence Baycoat's history students. And just as important as academic achievements, Dr. Baycoat is one among five or six black Atlantans that laid the foundation for Maynard Jackson and black politics in the city. And in 1956, led a voter registration campaign that placed 18,000 black voters on the rolls, the first time blacks in the Deep South had registered in such large numbers. He's a quiet man. Uh, he's not uh, given to advertising his own virtues uh, too much, but his contribution has been of Im uh, Im immeasurable value all through these years. Dr. Clarence Baycoat, the historian, was the first teacher hired by Atlanta University in 1930. He's retired and is now a distinguished lecturer of history at Morehouse College. And through the years, he hasn't lost his quiet sense of humor. For that and all of his contributions to our community, we salute him as another of Atlanta's people in action. Tell when a person is reaching <coughs> Old age by three signs. <laughs> One, a tendency to forget. <laughs> the other two, I can't remember. Walt Elder, Action News.